dear students in this third session we start with some numericals but before that we just list out all the formulae what we learnt till now the first formula what we learnt in this chapter is f equals r by 2 that is focal length of the spherical mirror is half of the radius of curvature second formula is what what we learnt is mirror equation 1 by f equals 1 by v plus 1 by u third formula we can create it now by taking the lcm and all those things from second formula where we can write directly the equation for image distance what is mostly asked in many problems therefore i can write from second equation v the image distance as u f by u minus f the fourth formula is about the magnification you know linear magnification is h i by h o where h i is height of the image h o is height of the object now the fifth problem fifth sorry fifth formula what we can write is what you already learnt minus v by u the linear same linear magnification from fifth and third we can also write another formula for magnification in terms of focal length and the object distance that is minus f by u minus f these are the six major formulae what we use in our today's session for solving the numericals and moreover we must remember before start solving the numericals in mirrors for concave mirror focal length and radius of curvature both are negative for convex mirror focal length and convex mirror yes, focal length and radius of curvature are both are positive that is we write down for concave mirror focal length and radius of curvature are negative for convex lens convex mirror sorry convex mirror focal length and radius of curvature are positive we always follow this thing in applying the sign conventions in this session the we read the first problem now in this session an object is placed at 15 cm in the second part 8 cm in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 20 cm find the position nature and magnification of the image in each case observe in all these type of problems we must first write down what type of mirror is given we are given with concave mirror i write concave mirror there concave mirror now we write down all the things given there we start with first part so object is placed at 15 centimeter u is given minus 15 i must write because it is placed in front of the mirror then radius of curvature is given r which is minus 20 centimeter therefore f can also be written here r by 2 which is minus 20 by 2 which is minus 10 centimeter now we are asked to find the position nature and magnification position means the image distance nature means real or virtual magnification m the enlarged or diminished we start with the first part to find the position for that i can make use of 
the equation 1 by f equals 1 by v plus 1 by u or the modified form v equals u f by u minus f. We substitute everything there. u minus 15 f minus 10 divided by u minus 15 f minus of minus 10 that is 150 in the numerator plus minus into minus is plus here minus 15 plus 10 which amounts to be 150 by minus 5 therefore minus 30 centimeter that means of image formed is in front of the mirror that is denoted by minus sign and at a position 30 centimeter. This minus sign shows it is a real image. So nature of the image is real because it is formed in front of the mirror that is shown by this negative sign. Now the magnification m to be calculated. m formula is minus v by u minus v minus 30 minus of minus 30 divided by my u minus 15. Therefore minus 2 will be the answer for magnification. This minus sign shows again real image and 2 which is a number greater than 1. Therefore, the image is magnified. That means now we can finally state in this case image, a real magnified image is formed at a distance of 30 centimeter from the mirror. We go for the second problem now. An object is placed in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 40 centimeter at a distance of 10 centimeter. Find position, nature and magnification of the image. A very similar problem we write down. The mirror given is concave mirror. Now, object is placed in front of concave mirror of radius of curvature 40 centimeter or given minus 40 to be written. Therefore, focal length can be immediately written by using the formula R by 2 that is minus 40 by 2 equals minus 20 centimeter. And it is object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeter that is u minus 10 centimeter. Again, we are asked to calculate V. We write the formula V equals U F by U minus F. We substitute everything. U is minus 10 F minus 20 divided by U minus 10 minus of F minus 20. If we simplify this, 200 in the numerator, in the denominator minus 10 plus 20, which is 200 by 10, it is 20 centimeter, it is plus 20 centimeter. That means the image distance is positive, that is virtual image that positive sign indicates virtual image and it is formed behind the mirror behind the mirror so we can write now the nature is virtual and it forms formed 
बिहाइंड द मिरर बिहाइंड द मिरर मैग्निफिकेशन वी फाइंड यम इक्वल्स माइनस वी बाय यू माइनस ऑफ वी इज ट्वेंटी बाय यू माइनस टेन दैट इज प्लस टू दैट मींस इट इज एनलार्ज्ड एंड अगेन बिहाइंड द मिरर देयरफॉर टू इज ग्रेटर देन वन द इमेज is enlarged enlarged so absolutely in these two problems we start always with what by writing what type of mirror that helps us to assign the proper sign for the data given now we concentrate on the third problem an object is kept in front of a concave mirror of focal and 20 cm the image formed is three times the size of the object calculate the possible distances of the object from the mirror observe in this problem we are given focal length and mirror is concave let me write the mirror type there concave mirror and focal length is given f it is minus 20 cm image is formed three times the size of the object that is height of the object equals three times height of the image equals three times height of the object or m equals 3 it is enlarged image by three times calculate the possible distances of the object from the mirror observe here we are given the floral air possible distances it is not a distance it is distances why it is like that because a concave mirror can produce both real as well as virtual image therefore this type in this type of problems we need to solve the problem for two cases one for real image another for virtual image for both the cases you have to calculate the object distances because it is given calculate the portion of the possible distances of the object that means you are supposed to calculate the u value for that now we make use of the formula as usual say i write the v formula u f by u minus f i can make it into magnification formula v by u equals f by u minus f but m but m equals minus v by u therefore m equals minus f by u minus f now we substitute everything there for first thing for real image i substitute real image for real image m is minus for real image m is minus 3 substitute everything minus 3 equals minus of minus 20 divided by u minus of minus 20 minus 3 20 by u plus 20 that means if we take this on to the side minus 3 u minus 60 equals 20 Minus three u equals eighty. U equals eighty by three centimeter. This is for real image. Object is in front of the mirror, and object distance is minus eighty by three centimeter. Now we do similar calculation for virtual image. 
virtual image now m should be plus 3 substitute again for the same formula m is plus 3 i substitute minus of minus 20 divided by u minus of minus 20 that is 3 20 by u plus 20 3u plus 60 equals 20 3u equals 40 u equals 40 by 3 centimeter that is minus 40 minus 40 by 3 because 20 minus 60 is minus 40 so object to be kept at minus 40 by 3 centimeter in front of the mirror to get the virtual image magnified by 3 times and 80 by 3 times to get the real image of magnification 3 again observe here looking at these two results you can think of observe the focal length is 20 centimeter and 40 by 3 means less than 20 centimeter that means in the second case object is kept between focus and the pole that means it creates a virtual image that is correct what what we have written there in the same manner for the first case real image 80 by 3 it is definitely more than 20 centimeter it is beyond the focus therefore the concave mirror should form a real image therefore our answers are correct now to conclude this problem to get the magnification 3 by a concave mirror it is possible in two cases by getting the real image or by getting the virtual image by getting the real image it is to place the object at minus 80 by 3 centimeter to get the virtual image of same magnification you have to keep the object at minus 40 by 3 centimeter with this numerical we pass on to fourth problem there fourth numerical we read a 5 centimeter long needle is placed 10 centimeter from convex mirror of focal length 40 centimeter say here 5 centimeter long needle means I can write it as a object height but before that as we are doing in previous problems what type of mirror given we have to write so convex mirror given in this problem convex mirror given in this problem and 5 centimeter is the height of the object HO I can write 5 centimeter an object is needed 10 centimeter from the convex lens that means U is given minus 10 centimeter focal length of focal length 40 centimeter F as it is convex lens I must write positive 40 centimeter plus 40 centimeter observe the use of writing the type of mirror in the beginning because that will tell us or that will remind us to write down the signs properly so I have written F equals plus 40 centimeter now again here what we are asked to calculate is what happens to size of the image when needle is moved farther away from the mirror but before that find the position nature and size of the image is asked so first as usual as we did in the previous problems we go for calculation of the position that means v equals uf by u minus f so v equals u is minus 10 into 40 there plus 40 divided by u minus 10 minus 40 that means minus 400 by minus 50 which is 8 centimeter this v plus 8 it is positive quantity that will tell us the image is behind the mirror as we know for convex mirror image is always behind the mirror that is correct now 
Now, the size of the image, na position we found out, nature of the image, it is virtual and behind the mirror because V is positive behind the mirror. Next, to find the size of the image, size of the image, I want to use magnification formula. M equals HI by HO, which is minus V by U. We substitute for all these things we will get. Say, we are given with HO, so I write HI as it is. HO is 5 equals minus V, 8 divided by U minus 10. Therefore, which amounts to be 0.8. Therefore, HI is 5 8s are 40, that is 4.0 centimeter. So, image is diminished because object size is 5 centimeter, image size is 4 centimeter. Image is di diminished, as we know, for convex mirror, it always produces virtual diminished image the answer is correct now so these four problems will help us to learn the basic way of applying the concepts what we learned in these two sessions in the previous two sessions we conclude this session for here we continue with the new concepts in the next session